okay we've got a step up transformer on the left here the number of turns has gone from 5 to 15 so it's tripled so the voltage also triples then we've got a step down transformer and the number of turns has halved so the voltage also halves this gives our first equation which is the ratio of the turns in the primary to the turns in the secondary is the same as the ratio of the voltage in the primary to the voltage in the secondary the power in the primary can be calculated using this equation p equals iv the power in the secondary can be calculated using p equals iv as well now the power in the primary won't be 100 percent transferred to the power in the secondary because there will be some energy loss so no transformer is 100 percent efficient you might be asked to assume that it is but normally you have to use this equation the power in the secondary will equal the efficiency times the power in the primary so i'm going to use this as an example here so what was very useful is to draw a picture so we've got a primary coil here on the left normally it's on the left and on the right we've got the secondary coil so i'm going to label it so we've got it's um 230 volts a lamp is connected um 60 watt lamp is connected to the output so it's 60 watts here 230 volt the number of turns the prime is 200 150 so this is a step up transformer and we've also been told the current in the primary which is 2.7 amps and we're asked to work out the efficiency so we can work out the efficiency using output power so basically power in the secondary over the input power which is the power in the primary so we've already got the output power which is 60 watts what we need to find is the input power so we need vp to figure that out so because we've got the, uh, the number of turns we can work out the ratio of the number of turns so the number of turns the primary divided by the number of turns the secondary is equal to the voltage in the primary divided by the voltage in the secondary if i rearrange this i get vp is equal to 30.67 volts so now i can work out the power in the primary so the power in the primary is equal to i current in the primary times the voltage in the primary which is 2.7 times 30.67 which gives me 82.8 zero watts and this makes sense because we've already clearly lost some power so if i put that into the equation here and i normally multiply that by 100 to get percentage efficiency i get an efficiency of 72 percent